Okay, the penultimate race of uh, week six in the hunt is race 36, the Kingsman Maiden Hurdle over three mile two furlongs, the hurdle version of the last race, so not for mon not for the money's Conor Aganti looking to get a double. Allo Time Torn for Obi Wan, Ships Shipstern Bluff for Molly at Surfer, Vanguard Dream for Obi Wan, Half Pipe for Stu Gray and Reluctant for Conor Aganti. He's done it again, Conor Aganti put to him, get one pulled up, win with the other, and they're all way. And if we're, if we're not led by the Carl Aranganti horse, I'll eat my hat. We are reluctant into the first of the 16. Not reluctantly, quite happily. From Outlaw Torn in second, half pipe on the outside, the grey in third. Ship Stern Bluff is four. Not for the money is five. Vanguard Dream is six. Just six of them here. I think everyone thought these maidens would be more s well subscribed. They usually are at this turn of the season, but uh, plenty of group races you could go in and get your marks and such like. But it's a three mile two maiden we're on here. We're through two of the hurdles. We're going past the winning post probably for the first of uh, two times. Before we get to say that's the finish line. But it's reluctant that leads us by a couple to Outlaw Taunt, then Half Pipe and Ship Stern Bluff together. It's like a hornpipe and a ship. And then a length back for not for the money. And the last is Vanguard Dream bringing out the rear. The second of the Obi Wan horses. And it's reluctant that leads us. It certainly isn't reluctant. Look at that skyline in the distance. I don't know where we are. I should have checked where the helicopter was taking me. As they all take that hurdle. A few odd cars parked there and amongst the trees. They look like they've had their wheels stolen. Maybe it's Aintree again. Look now down the Scousers will have it. But it's reluctant that uh, leads us here by about four to Outlaw Torm. About six back to Half Pipe and Shipstone Bluff. And a further three back for Not for the Money. And I can't see Vanguard Dream at the moment. There he is, just nosing him against the fence. And there's still well over two miles to travel. Still another 11 flights to take. There's the cricket. Uh, Sight boards, what that white thing? They're doing a bit of uh, here, a bit of I don't know, demolition. All those people wanted a big white fence at the end of their garden. Strange looking houses as well. It's like we're in somewhere abroad. Like, oh, poor jump there by Vanguard Dream. Clipped his, uh, his shins. Now they're in Indian file. We are reluctant. Is one, two is outlaw, torn, third is half point, fourth is shipstone bluff, fifth is not thunder money. Six is Vanguard Dream. And it's still reluctant. Outlaw Torn, Half Pipe, Shipstone Bluff, Lots of the Money and Vanguard Dream. Some nice trees in the background. Looks like a Butlin's holiday camp, those houses. I worked at Butlin's once in Minehead. Worked in the bar. Not once, I actually did a whole season there. I was a lot younger. Now this time probably spent in the 90s. No, I think I probably did a few madder things than working buttons, but we used to just play cards all the time from the staff other than when we were working. But it's reluctant that leads us here by about three to four to Outlaw Torn and Half Pipe. Shipstone Bluff, not for the money, Vanguard Dream. So reluctant. A mile and a half still to go here. Some kind of pull up at some point. I suppose Vanguard Dream's probably the one uh, looking favourite, but it's not usually always the one that horse is probably the second or third that will go. Probably now I've said that half pipe will be the one. So my only ears, I can't believe it. Talk about talk devil. So half pipe gets pulled up. It's two in the last couple of maidens. How frustrating for the commentator. So we're down to five now. It's reluctant that still leads us from Outlaw Torn and Shipstern Bluff. And about four to not for the money. Vanguard Dream. This five is still standing. Just over a mile to travel. Go past that uh, Lamborghini. A little bit of a change as uh, Shipstern Bluff moves into. Uh, Challenge for second as they go over the 11th. We've got closer to the leader now, so it's reluctant from Shipstern Bluff, Outlaw Torn. Five back to Not for the Money and three further to Vanguard Dream. So 
we're inside the final mile. Five more hurdles still to take, and it's reluctant from Shipstern Bluff and Outlaw Torn. Five back to Not for the Money. A few back to Vanguard Dream. So, reluctant, pushing for home off the bridle. Being stalked by Shipstern Bluff. One that seems to have uh, hit the wall a little bit now is Outlaw Torn. From the outside of him is Not for the Money, and Vanguard Dream's still got a lot to do from there. But it's reluctant inside the six. That three length advantage of Shipstern Bluff, not for the money running on well now. Outlaw Torn looks like he's got a little bit of gas left. Vanguard Dream's not going to win, but it's reluctant. Holds the lead at the moment from Shipstern Bluff on the outside, but here comes the other Kyle Arroganti horse to take on the German. It's Denmark versus Germany, and it's not for the money and reluctant that lead from Shipstern Bluff and a couple back to Outlaw Torn and Vanguard Dream. The Americans trying to get into it, but it's still not for the money. The Danes have it from the Germans. Anyway, it's over the 14th and this time it's the Germans that take the lead. Ships down, bluff leads from not for the money and reluctant. Now Lotton's trying to run on but not going to make it. Rin still only got three furlongs to go in it. Ships down, bluff pulling away here for Molly at Surfer. Over the 15th, the penultimate takes it well as does the remainder but it's Ships down, bluff that leads by five to not for the money. Four back to reluctant. At Lotton's a little bit further back than that. We've still got a furlong and a half to go but they're so drawn out now. Ships down, bluff would have to blow a fuse. So, not be doing this now. One side to find the final one little hurdle to skip over. One running on well is going to get up for third is uh, Vanguard Dream. Or at least I think so, and he is. And it's an easy win for Ships down, bluff and Molly at Surfer. Second was not for the money for Carl Arroganti. Third is Vanguard Dream for the USA and Obi Wan. Fourth was Reluctant. For Carl Arroganti and fifth was Outlaw Torn for Obi-Wan. And that's all that finished.